Howdy folks, Rob here. Just thought I'd do another quick video for you all. Um, picked up some black duck seat covers as you can see today. Um, had to get them ordered in through ARB. Uh, with everything with Corona going on at the moment, it's all a little bit, um, you know, delayed. No matter what you want for your four-wheel drive, it seems, these days. Um, recently had the suspension put in and that was a that was a three-week wait. So, uh, But it's all in now and, and ready to rock and roll. And uh, the black ducks have now arrived. And um, just thought I'd do a quick install video uh, for a Ford Ranger. Um, I know there's out, one out there for a 79, and um, I think it's a Nissan Patrol. There might be one out there on YouTube already for it. But um, thought I'd do a quick one on the Ranger. It's a little bit different to um, to the others. Uh, well, I found at least anyway, just because of the way the seats are configured, um, especially down the bottom here. Um, but yeah, the tools you'll need for this. A, I'm using a Leatherman, but just something uh, that you can get that little button in. Just for the headrest to get the headrest off. Uh, you just need something to get that out. A little button in there. So I'm using a little bladed edge there. Just to push that in while I open that and pull it off. Um, and a beer. And uh, that's about all you need. And obviously the seat covers. Obviously you've got the headrest section. The main back support section. And this is the bottom seat section. And... Uh, what I'll do is I'll quickly pause it here and I'll tilt the camera down a bit uh, and show you how to do the the bottom section. I found doing the bottom section first easiest just because of the way uh, the back of the Ford Ranger seat covers sit. I'll try and take a shot of that and show you that. Um, it's a little bit funky um, the way they are stock standard. And um, then we'll do the middle section and then the headrest. Um, pretty easy guys and uh, we'll get into it. Sweet. Alrighty folks here we go. The bottom section first uh, on the Ford Ranger. I've hit this with some turtle wax upholstery cleaner um, just to get rid of any marks and stains and hit it with a vacuum cleaner and all that sort of thing just to clean it up before I put the cover on. So uh, without further ado let's do it. So the way she goes pretty standard really at the front you've got a little velcro tab which will end up underneath the seat. Um, it's in the standard shape of the base of the seat and at the back you've got a Velcro tabs here, here and here. What happens is when you get around to the back of the seat, these swing around the side of the seat and Velcro up to keep it secure. And underneath the seat goes this long Velcro strip which will go underneath the seat and marry up with that to keep it secure to the seat, obviously upside down. All right, let's do it. So just place them over top as such, get that to go into there, obviously go around all your fittings, your um, seat belt and recliner for settings and fittings and all that sort of thing, you can see already that that's you know, taken shape quite nicely, and what, it's, what you need to do is remove everything from the back, which I should have done earlier, but I didn't, poor preparation. And then, with this tab section here at the back, you just feed it through, like so. It's a little bit tricky to get through, because it is tight, obviously. And then feed the side tab through. Around the back. Now I'm going to pause the video here as I've got it, you know, pushing it through now. I'll show you what's at the back of these Ford Ranger seats, which makes this a little bit tricky. So stand by. So what I was referring to at the back of the uh, seat here is this actual flap that's standard on the Ranger, and these little ties go down underneath the seat and hook in up here to keep it all taut. Now the problem with that is when you're trying to feed a seat cover through the front between the two, this covers it up. So you'll see here. That's the actual black duck cover under here. If I can get that out of the way. Under here. So that's why you need to do the base on these first because otherwise um, you won't be able to get to this for the base. And then these sections here obviously run underneath the seat. So just something to be wary of, guys, if you're 
storing these into a Ranger. I might do the passenger side first, going from top to bottom into this section first, and then found myself stuck trying to get this off, which meant I had to take the top off. But um, yeah, there you go, a little tip for you. Do the base first, and that's why. So guys, just a quick shot of the front here. So this is the Velcro tab I was telling you about that hangs down the front. Underneath you feed from the back. It's probably a bit hard to see in the video. I can follow. There you go. You feed through this strap. And with the Velcro, push that one back. And make it as tight as you can, obviously. That sits on there. And that will hold the seat cover in space. Alrighty guys, headrest is off. Um, like I said, you'll just need a sharp little tool, um, flathead screwdriver, something like that, just to push in a small button here whilst you release the, the trigger for the headrest to come off. Uh, super easy though. Um, Alright, let's put the back on. Again, nice and easy. As you'd expect, just mould straight over the seat. Once you actually line it up, there we go. You just feed him down, just like that. Now, there's a lever here on the driver's side. Just make sure you put the, the canvas on the inside of that lever so you can still reach it. And you um, need to adjust your seat. And you can see here that the headrest holes are lining up just nicely. Make sure it's all relatively tight. It's a snug fit already. But um, just make sure it's sitting all nice and, and flush. And you can see here there's another hole there for the uh, the interior support section so you just pull that over or underneath sorry so you can get it super easy and you're left with this flap down here and um, what you need to do is obviously push that through um, and it meet, matches up with the velcro at the back again if you don't do that little section where I um, explained how to take the the OEM sort of cover off you won't be able to get this through to match up with the velcro on the back of the seat cover uh, very important you do that um, and that's it push him through and you're done just like that nice and easy make it so it's relatively taut and tight you see it start to take shape around your seat and at the back you pull it through nice and tight and you'll find at the back of the seat there's a strip of uh, velcro and that just lines up just nicely with the back seat I'll just uh, take the camera and give you a quick look at that now alrighty guys here we are at the back so that's what I was saying before the OEM section which is this here really does get in the way so you really have to do that first so you pull that up Try and keep it out of the way, it's a bit tricky. This is the bottom of the front cover, if that makes sense. Poking through, it's got a Velcro strap at the bottom, pull him through, and then what you do, you hold that up, it's a bit tricky, and then you'll find that the Velcro strip of the black duck lines up with the seat cover. So then she sits nice and flush. Under here, what you do now, these little straps, hook onto the, re, the, the, the um, upholstery underneath, and what they do is they pull that bit tight and holds it all together. So what you do, feel under there. You can feel the metal, little metal bars that go across. Of course, now I can't do it because the camera's on. There we go. There's one. It locks in. Grab the other one here on the other side. And that's it. Well, there you go, folks. Black duck seat covers installed in the Ford Ranger now and um, I think they look fantastic I think they're well worth the money they feel amazing um, and from what I've seen and heard from others the, the waterproof spill proof wine proof baked bean proof <laughs> yeah I think um, I think they're well worth the investment from what I've heard they look like I said they look amazing they feel fantastic they're comfortable to sit in uh, big thanks to ARB Springwood, not sponsored at all in any way uh, or any affiliation. They, uh, they're they just the guys who I went to to, to get the seat, or seat covers ordered. Big thanks to Black Duck. I know everyone's under the pump at the moment with COVID and massive backlog of orders and delays and so on and so on. And um, yes, a big shout out to, to Black Duck and ARB Springwood and uh, Aussie company guys, so get, get behind them. Um, 
yeah, until until the next one. Uh, have a great one. Crack a beer and enjoy it. Cheers. See ya.